one from a Japanese uh, and a bullfighter. That's Australia. Let me look right up right there. Uh, you don't mind if I don't sit down, do you? This is the only chance I get to get unhandcuffed. I, I got it. I got it. This is the only chance I get to, to come around unhandcuffed. What we're going to try to do is, um, at first, just pretty much get your head in here. So, and then we're going to just a close shot on your head. So. You're not going to, have you got your gun lined up in there? No, we're going to bring that to you. All right, as I give to you from this heart, BJ, uh, we can keep up with that in the mail. Uh, good to finally see you in person. Huh? Good to finally see you in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice of you to do all the things you've been doing, man. I really appreciate you. Thanks. There's a lot of youngsters raising up like you. Thanks. How's uh, bogus? And fine. Yeah. Regards. Yeah. L.A.'s not doing too well, is it? No, I got out of there. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I was out of there myself a long time ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah L.A.'s not too yeah, cool. Yes. Yeah, it's... So. We can't uh, we can't get into any music no, because probably. we're we're in what I'm locked into is a soulless little to, jealous punk. I wanted to ask you, you think there's any way to eventually do that? Uh, any other authorities? Or well, there yeah, there's probably all kinds of ways we could do it. You could beat on the table. Yeah, I know. I was thinking. Uh, let me use that trash can down there, uh, unless you want to pass a rule against that. Everything I do, they make a rule against it, see? If I wanted a bucket of shit, they'd tell me no. You can't have... Uh, they, and they'd, they'd pass a rule saying no buckets of shit, man. No matter what I want to do, they want to keep me from doing it. No matter what I want, they don't like it. They, you know, in other words, if I... I got it. I'm very capable and I'm unhandcuffed. <laughs> It's all to get a different game. So what I want to do here is I don't really want to like, sit and ask you questions that you've probably heard a million times before. I just want to talk about a few topics and let you <coughs> reflect on them. Well, see, the way I communicate is... So rather than do the DA, we'll do the way I communicate is uh, in, in music. It's like... To know someone, you start in the fingertips. You can, you can know me in my fingers. You can know me in my hands. You can know me in my arms. You know, in other words, I'm something inside that goes beyond words. Words don't, words, blah, 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 you know, they're a bunch of fucking biscuits. That's what they teach you in school. You know, I live from here. What would you tell the people out there that... Fuck the people out there. Well, that don't know you. I don't give a fuck whether they know... Anybody that don't know themselves don't know me. I don't give a fuck about people. I'm looking out for this guy. You're right not, here. You're not angry how the media portrayed you as this villain? <laughs> monster. <laughs> what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. The media is a rerun. Public opinion is a little girl. It's a toilet paper commercial. It's got nothing to do with reality. Reality's here. Reality's now, you dig? And reality is that I'm giving you this guy here. You dig what I'm saying? Then I'll, then we'll, and I'll get that. Yeah, well, you say, you say you're at a holy war against certain people. Pollution, pollution, pollution. It's the only solution for survival on the planet Earth is a revolution against pollution. It's like, all, all, the, all the animals are running this way, and a lion comes on a picture, they all run that way. All the animals are all divided all up, all the people are out there playing all these games. A bigger fear comes, they all get together, and they all run in one direction. The, the peace plan is uh, that Schultz and all them guys are playing in the Middle East, it doesn't have any fear in it. It doesn't mean anything. It's a bunch of fucking old assholes talking about old rhetoric. Where you know? do you think the meaning of fear is? The fear is you'll do it or die. It's that simple. Do you think that's what the world needs? Uh, that's the only way it's going to survive. But that's not got nothing to do with my world. That's their world. 
world. My world's out there in that junkyard. You know, my world's in that picture. Yeah. You know what pictures my world's in. I, I mean, we're not throwing rocks. You know, they're over there throwing rocks. You know, uh, if that's what if that's what their game is, then that's where they're going, and it's got nothing to do with where I'm running. You know, where I'm running is, uh, you know, I run in the alley. I run in the darkness. If uh, I was sitting up there where I had my fingers on the buttons, it'd be a different game altogether. You talk a lot about a lack of order in the world. Yeah, there's no shit. Ain't nothing in that, man. Uh, yeah, there's no order because incompetent assholes like this run your world. This is the, these are the fucking ding dings that run your world, man. Look at him, fat hanging off his fucking jaws. He's an incompetent piece of shit. You dig? He wear black cowboy boots and play off this guy and pay that guy to hold me down. You dig what I'm saying? And then come back around on the other side and talk about, I'm a white guy. <laughs> I'm a white brother. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? What do I think about race? Everybody look out for themselves. I look out for this guy. This is my race. It comes out of my dickhead, man. My race comes out of me. You know, I'm my race. I live on, I live on my planet, my world, my desert, my thought. It took me 22 years to get through these fucking hallways. This is what I'm mad about, to land my thought down on that desert. In other words, these guys come in here, they work their, they're trying to work their thoughts out. I already got my thought out. My thought's already out. I already worked it out. And I didn't break the law. That's what's got me so fucking mad. That's what's got me so boiled up. I didn't break the law. I got some friends that killed some people. But my friends have always been killing people. I live, in, I live in the underworld. My friends have always been, in, you know, I mean, that's part of the life I live. What do you think about killing and murder? Think uh, each person, you got to be responsible for you, man. You got to be responsible for your actions. If you want to give me your life, I'll take it. And I'll put it in the deck and I'll deal it. You dig? And if you don't like the way I deal it, then don't give it to me. You dig what I'm saying? But when you give it to me, then it's mine. I deal it any way I want. If I tell it to jump, it'll jump. If it don't, you dig what I'm saying? Then it's not mine. Because I could ask you no more than I could do for you. In other words, if I'm with you, I'm, I'm totally there with you. There's no bullshit. I'm not your leader. I'm not your follower. You dig? But if you want to get up and ride, we'll ride. And I'll be right there with you. You see what I'm saying? I don't count pennies. I'm not playing little petty games. You know who I ride with? I ride in Venice, California, with straight Satan. There's you know, no... The, uh, you remember the day you were arrested in Death Valley? You have any memories of that day? Yeah. One of these incompetent fucking assholes got me, put a pistol on me, and put handcuffs on me. And I've been in handcuffs for uh, 18 years. That's the only reality he's got, is me in handcuffs. Do you have any memories? You want to talk about from before you had handcuffs on? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't remember. I don't play, I don't remember anything. But I can't get any music out of this. I can't get any music out of nothing. These motherfuckers cut me off of my music, see? And then they represent off to the little girls. Look at me, little girls. Why don't we talk about what you think music is? You say it's not in Music is my soul. Music's the way I express. It's my religion. It's my religion. Said sex is religion. Yeah, sex is a reflection. Everything's a reflection of this. When you reflect that, you reflect music. I reflect it in the music. That's me. But I put my soul into the sound. And then these fucking assholes steal it. And then they'll walk up and down and tell you, yeah, this is me, baby. And this is me, Rube Root, but that ain't them. It's just a carbon copy reflection of, you know. They won't let, they won't let the reality of. You said that you're a reflection of everything around you. Right? Sure, what else could a child be? That it goes into you. You're going to reflect it sooner or later. If I'm going like this, pretty soon you're going to reflect that. All children do. What about uh, good and evil? It's spoken about beyond good and evil. You want to elucidate on that again? Well, evil. In order to put this world into order, how much evil do you think would 
have to be. You see what I'm saying? In other words, just to think world peace up underneath these incompetent fucking assholes that run these places. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, what kind of man you think would have that in his, in his head? You dig? They bring all these Indians over from India, and they all sit on their, uh, and you know, they all come like they got the great answer, you dig? But they don't even know how to speak English. They don't even know what the English words mean, you know? Uh, who, who has the master plan in English? Well, that kind of gets back to the race issue. No, English has nothing to do with races. When a guy speaks English, he understands the English thought. All the English thought that came from the English words came from the English mind. You know, I can't speak in Poland or, uh, or Chinese. I can understand what I'm understanding in English. Do you think some of the people in history have been, have been evil enough to put order in the world? I don't, I don't place uh, no emphasis on history because uh, they all lie. The truth is that your history books are full of bullshit. Most of your books are full of bullshit. You know that, being a writer yourself. Most of it's trash. And uh, it's just for money. Uh, if I lived with you for about a month or two, then you would have a whole different concept of me. You wouldn't think the same thing of me. Your, your whole opinion of me would change. Not only your opinion of me would change, your opinion of you would change. And we would kind of reflect off into each other to where we become a part of. That's the world I've always lived in. Huh? People don't know who you are. Who am I? Yeah. I'm anybody I can get away with being. I'll take his clothes and put his boots on and get the hell out of here. Walk on down the road and be a hobo. If I had a good chance. I don't like killing. I don't kill bushes. I don't kill trees. I don't eat animals. I don't like killing, but I'm just like anybody else. I can, when I'm pushed to do that, I can do that just as easy as, as eating a piece of steak or, or cooking a chicken. You want to talk about the art that you've done, the string art, and, and what you put into that? Oh, it ain't, it ain't about nothing. Yeah, this looks like you put a lot of research into this, man. Isn't it funny, you got so many people play-acting you. So many people play-acting you, you never get a chance to play-act yourself. Well, this is important to what we're doing here, too, isn't it? How much time we got here? Until about 1 o'clock. Yeah. You want to talk about what it means to be an outlaw? That's just being free, being yourself, being whatever you are. I like this, man. It's a little better than another piece of shit they wrote that said it, that said it was mine. It, you know, they lie, man. They lie so fucking much. And they lie, and then they turn around and represent to you young people that we're the guys up here. You know, let us teach you, kid. Let us teach you what's going on. And they don't know what's going on. And they won't face what's going on, even if they did do what was going on. You know? Do you think that your thought has had an influence on young people now? Do you think that's... Uh, I'll put it to you this way. When I was a little kid in the streets, I was smoking grass. And it wasn't but a few people smoking grass. I come to jail as a beatnik. I don't know whether you remember beatniks. But what your hippies were of the 60s were what we were, were of the 50s. Well, we got ate up by the system. And uh, then when I got back out, the hippie was a takeoff on the beatnik, as the beatnik was a takeoff on the bohemian, or the bohemian was a takeoff on the boobskaboo. In other words, just loop the loops and circles that come in and out of these places. Well, it always seems like you, you weren't really a hippie in the sense that you represented order. I didn't represent nothing. No. I didn't represent anything. I represented me. I represented a motorcycle, a sleeping bag, and a guitar. And all that other shit's a DA's. He put all that shit on me, man. There's a bunch of broads that follow me around. But there's always broads following me around. What about this myth about the process and Robert D. Grimson? No, that's a bunch of horse shit. Did you ever meet them? Or? No, I don't... Yeah, I know them. I know them spiritually. I know everything. Did I know you, everything. You live there on Cold Street, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I was in the same vibration as all those people. Yeah. In other words, you're with somebody, you know somebody, you know they're there, you're running with them. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You're out in the bushes with them, and your coyotes with them, or you're in the, you're spiritually allied with them in the scorpions, or you're spiritually allied with them in the, in the awarenesses. And see, you notice this guy? As I'm talking, he's going through all kinds of changes. Well, I'm spiritually allied with this dude. See. You talk about the wolf too. And spiritually yeah, allied. I'm spiritually allied with that character too. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, the ways of animals I, I identify with more than I do with the ways of humans. Humans are, are pretty stupid. Humans won't survive. Humans ain't going to survive. Not the way they're going. Think they're going to destroy themselves? Yeah, definitely. They're going to destroy every fucking thing. They're destroying everything. See, people don't realize how many... If you sit down and you start thinking people, it would take you 10 weeks to think up 200 million people, man. You know how many people that is? Now, you run out of food with 200 million people. You run out of oil with 200 million people. You run out of thought with 200 million people. You got a lot of meat there, man. That's a lot of meat to deal with, Dick. And Jackson wants to run to be president. Man, <laughs> you better hope somebody wants to be president. You dig what I'm saying? But uh, who in the hell would want to be? Can you, can you conceive of what kind of brain would want to want to lead these, these fucking root scoops out there in the, you know, because there's no communication with them. You dig? If you took a horse whip and beat them, they still wouldn't understand what the hell you're talking about because there's no, there's no intelligence there, man. Too many people. Oh, man. Yeah. You know. They'll pray for Hitler to come back. They wish he had been here. What do you think about Adolf Hitler? I just think he was thrown in his time doing his trip for whatever. See, you don't have any other choice. Once you get order in yourself, then you got to reach the order in your, in your own household, in your own family, in your own kin, in your own kind. You got to reach that order. You can't go. I can't go over and tell this man something until I can tell me something. If I'm right within me, then I can tell him what's right within what I think. But each man has to be right within what he thinks, Dick. I can't make another man right. The other man got to be right with himself. Do you feel like you have any connection with Hitler? People we all do. Anybody that wants to put order into the world, anybody that's got a brain that wants to put order into the world has got to stumble upon Hitler. Because Hitler started putting order into the world. And when he started putting order into the world, it threw him out, it overwhelmed him. It was too big for him, he couldn't do it, you dig? Um, nowadays it's a different computer. It's a different, if it's a different world, it's a different thought. Nowadays you don't need all that explosive power. You can do it on your computers with your buttons and stuff, with, with your mom. aids and bays and with your biscuit berets and biscuit buttons and that. That's in my music, see? But that's what they won't let me get out. And then every time they keep that music out, then all the kids rise up and they kill a bunch of people. And then they say, well, oh, you're fucked up. Well, why are we fucked up? Who just says that you can put your music up over my music? You dig what I'm saying? Who put your voice up over my voice? Who says your God's bigger than my God? You dig what I mean? In other words, it's just a, if you get down in the alley with it, and whose dog's the biggest dog? I'm the biggest dog when I'm out there in the street. When I ride my motorcycle and I got my knife, ain't nobody up over me with nothing. Nothing. Nowhere. Nowhere in town. What do you think made you different from these other people? I was stupid enough to believe that I had rights in this country. You know, I believed in what the judge said. In other words, I worked for 20 fucking years to get out of jail. I did everything these assholes told me. I thought that Dang Dang was my daddy, man. I played up underneath that fool and did everything he told me to do, right? Just perfect. Perfect to the letter of the law, all the way down the line. Then when I got outside, I never broke that law. I'm not stupid. You know, I'm not educated in the ways of their education. But on my road, I'm not stupid. I know when I've done something when I didn't do something. And someone comes to me and they say, I got a problem. I said, what is it? And they said, will you help me? I said, sure, I'll help you. He said, well, can I be your brother? I said, sure, I'm your brother. I'll help you do anything. What is the problem? He said, guy owes me some money. I said, well, if you're big enough, go get it. If you ain't, sit down and keep your mouth shut. He said, what would you do? I said, fuck it, man. It's only money. I wouldn't put my life up for no fucking money. You dig what I'm saying? He said, well, I'm going to go get my money. I said, well, that's up to you. It's got nothing to do with me. The guy went over and fucked the guy up, took his money. You dig what I'm saying? He come back and said, I killed the dude. I said, the fuck you tell me for? What you tell me for? You making me a conspiracy to something? You think you're incarcerated more for your ideas than what you're supposed to? I'm incarcerated because they're afraid. 
I hope... Suffer. They don't know how many children and how many people are suffering right now because they won't change. See? They don't have the intelligence to change. Once you get them, huh? They go, huh? The rest of their life, huh? Huh? They'll do that for a paycheck, huh? Huh? You tell them, don't do that no more. And they go, huh? Huh? There's no communication. You tell them, I tell them, stop doing that. And they'll go, huh? Huh? I said, stop it. And they'll go, huh? And you cut the someone's fucking throat and throw blood in their face. And they'll go, huh? Huh? You see what I'm saying? In other words, there's just no intelligence, man. You don't have any, you don't have any hope for mankind. Uh, not on that level. Not on that level, I don't, no. That's not mankind. That's not intelligence, you know. It's not even beast. You don't have the intelligence of a zoo, you know. When you say beast, you talk about 666 uh, six, six a lot. What does that mean to you? 666 uh, six, six is just dollar bill. That's the body of the money. The body of the people that work for the money. Take that gold on that man's ring. He, he, he works. How long does he work for that? Two or three weeks to get that ring. And when he got that ring, he puts it on his finger and he rides it around. And he doesn't know that he's holding up the very same value that's working his African brother to death. <laughs> and is starving somebody else down on the ground, but he wears it on his finger like it was okay. I take it off and throw it on the dirt. I, you know, I wouldn't enslave nobody for a piece of gold. That's stupid. And anybody you see wearing gold, you know, they're just, they're enslaving somebody else with it, you know. But it's where their brain is, and you can't get them out of it. You know why you can't get them out of it? Ah! Because that was where they hung that fucking last asshole. What do you think about that last asshole? He was, he's still there. Did you see him? He's still right there. Nothing's changed. It's right now, down, and then as it's right now, now, you dig? And I'm not going back over there. Fuck them assholes. What, is, uh, what does Satan mean to you as opposed to Christ? Satan means whatever I'm looking at, whatever I want it to mean. It's on my forehead. It's, it, with me on, it's me if I can get up on that highway. It's me, it's me trying to save my air, my water, my trees, my wildlife. It's me on that cameraman. It's me right there in his watch. It's me in his brain. It's me right there on his ears. And when he shaves in the morning, I'm sitting right up underneath his razor. You dig? It's everything that human beings are, don't understand. It's all their fears. It's what they're not sure of. You dig what I'm saying? Satan to me would be God. You would be God to me. You dig? I could worship anything as God. Everything is God. The sun is God. The moon is God. Everything is God. Except the stupid fucking people who got that shit stuck up in their fucking heads and they won't get rid of it. They're out there talking about, well, Jesus loves you on the front of the cross, and he's doing all these things, boo boo blah, blah, and they're back there Googling that, and blast getting around the plane on the rope coop, and then back on the bullet coop, and then coming around the back of my alley and said, yeah, well, I believe in Jesus. No, give me that shit, man. I know who you believe in. I know who you believe in. What about Abraxas? The guy who talked about Abraxas? Uh, Abraxas? <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Abaraxis, yeah. All right. You remember when they had a harmonic conversion? All the people was up on this mountain over here? Hess died that night. I am. I am. Hess died that night. When Hess died that night, that put me longer in prison than anybody in the world. Hess was always longer than me. But when he died, that put me, the only living thing that was standing on that very same thought that you and I are standing on now. You see what I'm saying? In other words, we're still in that same dream. We're still in that same thought. And nothing can take that. You can take my body away and stick it down in that cabinet. It's still there. You dig what I'm saying? You cannot take it. You dig what I'm saying? There's too many people that gave their lives for it. They gave their lives and they're still bleeding there for it. You dig? And the spirit is there. And we could bring the spirit back to life, but for people like this. You dig what I'm saying? He hates white people. He's scared to death of this black guy. He's afraid this black guy's going to beat him up. The black guy ain't even thinking about it. The only reason he's scared of the black guy is because he's messed over the black guy so bad. You dig what I'm saying? He's got all that back, so what he'll do is feed me back to this dude. You dig what I'm saying? And say, well, here, don't, don't hit me, but jump on him. And then they'll hold me in the point and stand me out here in front of all these black people, you dig? And then push me down in there and try to get me hurt, and try to get me killed in every way they can. 
And then when they can't, then they say, oh, wow, man. Then they want to wear boots and wonder about, I'm going to catch up with you. I bet you I catch up with you. I bet you I catch up with you, buddy. I bet you I'll make you be what you are. Or I'll skin your fucking ass. I'll hang you on trees. I'll do every fucking thing I can do to do just what, exactly what I got to do to survive, man. How do you think you survive so well in this situation? Because I'm very, I'm very adapt. I can adapt to just about anything, man. Mm -hmm. You know, in other words, I stay right here all the time. I've been here, right here all the time, all my life. So it's no new thing to me. So when you go out in the prison yard, you got to be up on everything that happens around you. You can't let anything get in. It's, you know, I'm letting you get into me now. You know that, don't you? You know, words, you just Satan is getting into me now. See, because you're getting me. If I was outside, you wouldn't know me. If it wasn't for this bullshit, I'd be gone, man. I'd be old wino up on the road somewhere. You know, I'm gone down the road, man. This is all bullshit, man. This whole motherfucking uh, attention thing, I don't need nobody's attention about nothing. I can do what I do by myself. I don't need nobody. I ain't looking for no followers. I'm looking to survive. And survival to me is out there in that desert, running around with them wolves and them coyotes and them bugs and birds and bush bushes and things. I want to get back on the ground with mine, dig? But now I can't get all these people that are, that are trying to be and do like me. You dig what I'm saying? In other words, like I got all this fucking attention on me. I got 900 million people. You dig what I'm saying? Now how do I get away from them? Why do you think you attracted them in the first place? Well, because I am that. I am the soul of. I'm, I'm a reflection of, you take a little baby and you put him in the penitentiary. And you raise him up. I'm Richard Milhouse Nixon. I'm Richard Milhouse Nixon. You dig what I'm saying? But I'm him down here under the ground, man. I've had to do all the fighting while he gets up there and takes all the bows, see? I got to carry the motherfucker while this fat sack, sack of shit won't let me call my old lady while his old lady tells him, shut up. You see what I mean? Uh, it's Squeaky, the one that's down there doing life trying to get me out of jail. What do you think about her escape? Uh, she's, she's right on. She better be right on. She knows what she's got to do, see? She knows what she's got to do to survive on this planet Earth, just like <coughs> all the people that are with me do. The ones that are with me do, the ones that are not with me are not with themselves. What do you think about James Mason and the Universal Order? I, don't, I, I, I wish you'd send James a copy of this and tell him if he had them swords, I'd just reach and take them swords and I'd break them and throw them down on his feet. You dig what I'm saying? And I'd tell him, now stand at attention when I'm talking to you. That's where it comes from. It didn't come from no fucking book. Stand up or I'll knock your fucking brains out. You dig what I'm saying? Handcuff the son of a bitch down there and let me I'll show you how I interrogate the motherfucker. You dig what I'm saying? I'll interrogate you. I'll reach in your brain and pull your fucking soul out and throw it on the floor. I'm tired of this bullshit, you dig? And all these people that run around and play acting like hoo hoo ga, -ga and playing all that shit, they better get, they better get, they better get in line or get off the motherfucker. You dig what I'm saying? And it was they talking about in the name of the Lord, we're going to say this, in the name of the Lord, we're going to say that. In the name of the Lord, if, if there was such a thing, you see what I'm saying? Would he be the devil? If there was such a thing, would he be the devil? What's that big scar you got running on your face there? I think I do have a scar. There. Yeah, you do. Maybe it's running and make it. Yeah, yeah. Looks like you had a scar there. Kind of hot yeah, I'm going to get a tattoo of a scorpion over here. If I ever get out, go out and get out on the main line. And if I don't get out on the main line, then we'll all go to church. What do you think about Perry Red Wharton? He said you don't like people. He did. He did. Uh, although I don't agree with the way he did what he did, I'm still in, in accord with that man. I'm in harmony with him. He did. In other words, I can be in harmony with other people even though I don't like their, I don't like their particular mode of uh, what they're doing. But again, I've got a lot of friends that are very terrible people to other people. But to me, man, they're just home, you know. I'm from Kentucky. In Kentucky, I live in a county called uh, Moorhead. And they got them long guns. And if they don't know you, and you come up to holler. You know, we only got enough to last us to get through the winter. We keep ours in jars, you dig what I'm saying? We raise ours in hogs and cows. <coughs> Ain't got no money. Don't need no money. 
but I can get through this winter. You dig what I'm saying? Kick back. And each summer, I get up and I worry about getting through the next winter. You dig? That, yeah, that winter was lost 40 years ago. And I'm the child of Uncle Jess that sent me rolling out of them hills in Kentucky. You dig what I'm saying? To save his cabin, to save his earth, to save his planet. Because he stood there and blew himself up when fucking assholes like this come in and want to take his steel away and shit. He blew himself up, he blew his kids up, he blew his... He blew everything up, hound dog up, chickens up, blew the whole thing up. But when he blew that up, he went into the same eternal dream. You dig what I'm saying? The same eternal dream that I've been in, in jail. Can you understand that? Where do you, where do you think you got into that eternal dream? I've been in jail since 1943. I've been locked up all my life. I've been locked up all my life. So I'm in that dream. I am not that dream. Don't get me. I am not that dream. I'm only a witness. One little witness, one little fucking little piece of shit in that dream. There's all kinds of people in that dream that are already all down the road, you know. In other words, if you and I was going to go prove a point, we said, we are, we're going to go prove this point. You dig what I'm saying? And we stand up and you knock me down. I said, well, okay, I'll just show you a graveyard. You dig what I'm saying? And then I say, now get up over the graveyard. If you want to play knock me down, you dig what I'm saying? As long as you play knock me down, get up over the graveyard. And I just sit on the other side of the graveyard and watch him go to hell. You talk about the graveyards of the veterans. So yeah, my brother. You're born on veterans day. So I'm born right now. Anybody that puts their life on the line for me, I've always been right there with them. Because I stay right there all the time. I was born and raised there. I stay there all the time. Constantly. I'm so much there, you dig what I'm saying, that Japan came over and said hello. <laughs> and I said hi. You dig? And then anybody with any respect would respect me. But any punk that don't have respect and all that fear and insecurity, you dig? Then they treat me like the fucking punk that they are. In other words, they give me all their insecurity. They take the most holy man they got, you dig, and treat him as worse as they can. Degradate him, drag him through all kinds of shit, spit on him cuss him, just do everything, and then turn around and go to church and worship him on Sunday and think you're going to get away with it. Don't work that way. What do you think, what do you think would make it work? Or could make it work? It's gonna, the spirit is in it. The spirit is, the spirit is moving it right now. There's no doubt about it. Now, they're all running from Jackson, right? <laughs> they're all making excuses. Oh, uh, oh, they don't want to give him this driver's seat, do they, huh? <laughs> and I'm laughing. I'm laughing like crazy, man. Because uh, I think uh, when he goes up there and says, well, now, what have we got here? He's going to find out he's got a fucking bu bunch of bullshit there, too. Makes no difference what they call you. Y'all call you the Boosku. You're the commander of Mamscam. You know, what does that mean? You still got to live with what you do, you dig? And these people that cut my mail off, let me tell you what they do to me. They cut my mail off. You can give this to the next wave of little kids that you grow up to. They cut my mail off. They lie. They cheat. They got some big old fat women that, that paint their faces and shit and dye their hair. And they cut the legs off the table so the little girls can't get over and play with the little guys. And they got all kinds of little sex paranoias and little, little deceiving, little lying, cheating little things that they play. And then they'll push him off on somebody else and say it's all their fault, that they're no good and we got the bad guys locked up over here and we're all the good guys. You dig what I'm saying? When in reality, man, you got a bunch of scurvy fucking PC motherfucking pieces of shit. You dig what I'm saying? But that's on one hand. Here's where Aberaxis comes in. If they didn't have the love to do it, who in the fuck would? Who do you respect in the world? I respect that same fucking asshole that I'm down on every day. That's Aberaxis, man. We roll on it. We've been rolling on it ever since he come on the tier. He comes on the tier and says, fuck you, you son of a bitch. Throw some shit and piss in his face. You dig what I'm saying? Knock him down. And he comes back and feeds me with it. And lets me live. And when he lets me live, then I look back at him and I say, well, <laughs> you know, you're not so bad after all if you let me live. So then I have to let you live. So as long as I'm in here, I got to let him live. Because he's only living in my life. You talk about the... Spirit of the father in life. Yeah. Um, what, do you, what do you think about feminism? Feminism? Matriarchy versus patriarchy. Oh, I'm a matriarch. I'm a beautiful woman. I'm a very beautiful woman. All my women know that. 
<laughs> All my women know that. Do you have any good memories about the people who were here? Oh, all of them. Sure. They're all beautiful. Tex. Tex is beautiful. Tex got off of his, you know, Tex got up and gives you, and he's trying to walk around and say, chicky chip him, who, you know, and he was there for a while, and we were learning new things, and we were experiencing our bodies and stuff. He did, but then he decided that he wanted to go back into what his mother was doing. And I looked over at him, and I said, well, if you can... <laughs> If you can get anything new over in there, you dig what I'm saying? Go ahead and see what you can find out, but I'll tell you everything on this finger that's over there. You know, save you a long trip. But he wants to go back through Jesus Loves Me. You dig what I'm saying? He wants to go back and worship and play all the games that we played for 2,000 years. And if that's what he wants to do, it's okay with me. I, you know, I'm still right there saying, all right, man, you know, like... Uh, if that's what you want to do, but you're only destroying yourselves, man. You see, now, every time I come down off of this, you don't like me. Then I'm a no good son of a bitch, because then I put a piece of steel right there on my leg, and I sure not can cut anything with any place I want to cut it. And I live within the sphere of me. I don't push it off on nobody else. You dig what I'm saying? And I stand back and give other people their space. You see what I'm saying? But if they don't give me respect, I'm sending all that back around. I'm sending it all back around. You see what I'm saying? Because I live in my mind. You think your mind has power in the world? Yet? Oh, I would imagine, yes. Even though you're here. Yes. Yeah, the last, the last wave of these guys, the last wave of these guys that sent me to Vacaville are all gone now. Dr. Morgan blew his brains out. You think you have a effect on what happens to the world? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm out there on the highway. <laughs> sure, I'm out there on the highway. I'm out there on the highway in Big Dragon, in the underworld. I'm out there in Hawaii. I'm out there in all kinds of different things. Uh, you might say I'm kind of like Satan. I'm in so many different places at once. <laughs> yeah, it would be like Satan. It would be very sharp for one person to do all the things that I'm going to have to do to survive. In you. And in you. And in you. And in you, too. See, the judgments are. How will I judge anything? A judgment from what's inside of me. However I see anything, I'm seeing it from what's inside of me, the man in the mirror. I go beyond the man in the mirror because I set the mirrors on the ends of your roads, Jig. But I set them with these little nooses when your children come in to me. I hang them on the ventilators according to what I need to be and what I have to get done to weave my patterns, to do whatever I have to do to survive. In the places where you know the pictures, where we live. Why'd you go to Death Valley? Where'd you find that you traveled home? I, may, I started all over. We started a rebirth movement. We started the rebirth movement that Carter stole. See, you guys outside don't realize everything we do in here, they'll play off and tell you that that's them. If I dig a foundation for a house, somebody else will stand on it and say, uh, yes, uh, I've, uh, this is my foundation here, and I've, uh, you know, in other words, in the United States, when you run in the United States, you ain't running in nothing but con, nothing but bullshit, and nothing but devil. You're running in nothing but demon. The United States of America is the demon of the world. He's the Satan of the world. Where would you go if you could get out of here? Uh, right wherever I am. Because I don't really move. If I'm here, I'm here. If I move over here, I'm still here. If I move over there, I'm still there. And in other words, wherever I go, I'm still there. I call it Pice. Pice, I'm from Pice. I'm a lichen. We're lichens. 
Like well, I like you, you know. You look all right to me, man. You dig what I'm saying? So I accept you as a liking. Mm -hmm. So when I accept you as a liking, you're like kin to me. Right. Because I never had a family, see? So you're like my kin. You're like kin to me. You know, and I accept you completely and totally into that. All the way through your mother's relationships and your father's relationships. All the little relationships that you guys have, I didn't have that because I was over here in reform school, boys school. I had the relationship of the guys over here in boys school, over on the basketball court. The basketball court in my kingdom. Always has been. Because I ruled it from solitary confinement. Do you think that's your destiny, not to? No, it ain't destiny. It's just me staying alive. It's my life. In other words, we all do what we have to do to survive, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you put a child down here, now I've survived this long, you know. I'm 40, uh, I'm over 40 years in prison, I've survived. And I've survived you. How do you think people are going to remember you? I don't think people, they're going to be anybody to remember anything. They, you know, they're destroying everything. Mm -hmm. They'll destroy all the way back down to the coyotes and the wolves and the scorpions and the bugs and the snakes. And they'll probably, see a few of us, Fake phony son of a bitch sitting over and looking at the thing saying, hey, yeah, that's an old rerunning Mars somewhere. You go there, you get Boyd. Boyd Rice, and you tell Boyd Rice, say, you caused Charlie Manson to be locked up three years in a fucking hole. I've got that up your ass unless you do exactly what I tell you to do. You dig what I'm saying? And you take that big dead head you got, you dig what I'm saying? And you set it right at his keister. And you tell him now, you do what I tell you to do. And I'm not going to pay you. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? In other words, you don't need money. Not on this road. Not where we're running from. You dig what I'm saying? We're coming from religion now. You dig what I'm saying? They're coming from big bucks, donating so-and-so to us. You dig what I'm saying? We got, we got the other end of that. We got the other end of that. We got that sharp end of that. You dig what I'm saying? In other words, it's nice to be nice. But let's face it. Good don't have no power over evil. Nice guy, finish line. I'm last, ain't I? And look at this nice guy. Look how evil he is, man. Jake, yeah, his nose goes like this. His ears go like that. His gut hangs over these things, Jake. Okay? And he don't do anything but what the money tells him. If I paid him three times as much, he'd walk backwards. You see what I'm saying? In other words, it's just money, man. Who do you think's responsible for getting you in here? Do you think you made any mistakes? No. Well, no. I can't see no mistakes. I think the infinite wisdom of all things are perfect. Even these guys. Even though I don't agree with them, you dig? And I, I conflict with them, and I argue with them, and I struggle for the same thing they struggle for, perfection. You know, I'm reaching for perfection. Just like we all reach for perfection. But my perfection is in the air. The water, the trees, and the wildlife, and it goes beyond my physical. You see what I'm saying? In other words, they can't understand. I've already gave this physical up, man. The physical's hanging down there on the courtroom. You know, if you want to interview me, why don't you go talk to the, to the DA? Maybe he can make up some more lies for you, some more stories for you. Because what the fuck are you going to understand anyway? What do you think you can tell people that... Somebody throw it. Oh. Do you think you can tell people to get rid of these lies? Back? Oh, I don't give a fuck if they get rid of them. They can live in lies all of forever, as far, as far as I'm concerned. Because that's where it boils down to. If you're lying and you die, you got to live in that forever. You know? I mean, they, they preach it, but they don't believe it. I believe it. I don't preach it, but I know it. It's a reality. It's a reality. Jesus Christ is a reality. And so is that other guy. And the conflict that goes in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just checking that dude out, man. Cameramen have a way of hiding. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, are you Irish? 
Irish English, yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Ready complexion, huh? No. What always happens every time I get out of jail, I, I have a kid. And then the broad ends up snitching on me or getting me locked up. And then she takes the kid on down the road. And she raises him up to be like her. And then I see him when he gets to be about 30 or 40 years old. He's a little fat fucker. He thinks just like his mother. You did? So I see a bunch of little fat fuckers that think just like their mother. And I look at them and I see, yeah. Do you know if any of your children have followed in your footsteps? They're all my children. And anybody ever seen me is following in my footsteps. How else could they do anything else? Should I explain that? step. Never been done. It's history. Every step I take now is history. And I'm carrying 900 million people in my mind. You see the Pope? <laughs> He's a cigarette butt on the floor. Well, you, you now open, open, open up your mind into that. See all the Orientals and the dragon? All the tongs? See all the feathers? See the swastika spinning? You see it coming alive? In our minds, as the youth, in our minds, as the youth, you see that spirit coming back? You see it coming back? You dig what I'm saying? In other words, it's coming back in the spirit of the youth. It's coming back from the battlefields. It's coming back. Peace on earth. Peace on earth. And the peace on earth goes beyond that line. And I put that line on the blind man's pole. Then I run that down with some other soul. And then I cut that on back with another track and come back and say, Choo, choo, I know my mind. And I trust the very same person that you do. And the very same person that you do. <laughs> I trust the only person left to trust me. Because you all lied to me. You all misused me. You all played your little games up on me. You dig what I'm saying? And I let you lay your little old track upon me. And I let you do your little old thing. You dig what I'm saying? Then this guy wants to fuck in my pussy. I said, yeah, all right. You want to fuck in my pussy? Lay it right over there by the graveyard so you won't have too far to fall. You see, in other words, like, everybody that thought that they're playing me, I think they'll end up <laughs> finding out that they got played by themselves. Because we each get the guy in the mirror. Could you look in the camera and tell people they're going to see this? Tell them, tell them who you really are. Tell them who I really am. I'm uh, this hand here. With no doubt. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, man. Yeah. That shoulder there. Yeah, you look like a healthy young man. I like you. Talk to the people and say, we see you now. Well, I can't talk to the people. I, well, that's they're the, gonna, they're that's gonna, the, they're the, in, you. well, that's, that's your reality. You, you, you're the one that does that. I don't, well, what if, I'm what, dealing with what you. What do you have to say that you've never been able to say before? You've been through a lot, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's why we can probably meet as easy as we do. I feel real comfortable with you, man. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. So what, what do you have to say that you've never been able to say in this situation before? Uh, I'm going to survive. If you do or not, that's up to you, you dig? But uh, the only thing that keeps me su from surviving is the people that don't want to survive. So here's what I would say to all the people that have the death wish. 
why don't you go ahead and find your own way out? Why come to me with all this dying and all this fear and all this bullshit? I'm not into dying and fear. I'm into music. I play music. I play music. I ride my motorcycle around. Now, what comes to me, I have to deal with, don't I? So I go out in the desert, and I'm sitting in the desert, and I'm not bothering anybody, and I'm just having a good day. And what happened to that good day? Somebody comes up and wants to know something. I said, what do you want to know something for? Can't you just have a good day? Well, I work in the chemical company, and my aunt said, my cousin, I said, oh, man. But I thought if I had my payday, bro, bro, I said, ooh, fuck the room full of confusion. You know, in other words, if it makes sense to the people that are doing it, you know, okay. But it don't make no sense to me. It don't make no sense to me, and I'm just a child left out of that. Do you want to be part of it? Anymore? Over here, huh? You don't want to be part of it anymore? Part of what? Left out. Yeah, in other words, like, I have to say that to say a thought, you dig? Actually, I wouldn't be here had it not been for those people you call the family. They're the ones that put me here. They're the ones that butchered up a bunch of people and said, here, we want you to see this guy. I didn't want to be seen, you know. I was trying to get out in the desert. They said, well, this is our star. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, I would have went ahead and let you bleed in Elvis Presley. You dig? You could have had Elvis Presley for your little dreams. You dig what I'm saying? But Elvis Presley was only the shadow that was playing up over somebody that was dying in a hole down in Brushy Mountain, Tennessee. Or someone that was over in the solitary confinement in, uh, in, uh, you see what I'm saying? In other words, the real Humphrey Bogart and the real James Cagney are actors. I mean, the ones you know. The real ones, they died in here. You know, in other words, we die so that you guys can play actors. In other words, we got to be the bad guys so you guys can be the good guys, you dig? But in reality, we know that you're not the good guys, that you guys are worse than we are. You dig what I'm saying? Which is acceptable because we're outlaws, and that's what keeps us out. And as far out as out you can get, and when you're drinking your children's blood, I see you. You can't fake on me. You dig? Because I was your children. You can't fake on me. I was your children of the 40s. Ellen Dora Roosevelt can't fake on me. You refer to World War II a lot. Yeah, that's what raised me. I'm a child of, I'm a child of my time. You know, you're a child of your time. My, I'm locked in the Second World War. You're talking the Second World War. You're, uh, well, how old are you now? Yeah, you're the Vietnam War. Oh, your brothers run in Vietnam War. Well, those are, your brothers are like my little kids. I was brotherhood to the Korean War. And my father was, a, was the Second World War. I was even born into the universe. In the perfection of that, I was born 11-11-34, Veterans Day. And my grandfather, my granddaddy was, uh, was the uh, uh, conductor on the B&O Railroad out of Kentucky, out of the Blue Moon of Kentucky. That's off the First World War. What do you think about war? I think it's very stupid. It doesn't make any sense at all. No, no, not really. Uh -uh. It's only necessary to those people who won't accept in their minds that they're full of shit. And then you have to, ha you have to help them submit. They, they can't submit. You can't bring them down to the truth. They want to play act like they're somebody better or bigger or smarter. They're like a bunch of chickens, Dig. What it really boils down, they're like chickens and they got they got the kids down at the bottom, and they peck on the kids. Not only pecked on this kid that he grew up. Not only he grew up, he grew up once through him and went to Mexico City and stood in the bull ring and went, shit ha hey, hey, and we go all the way to Spain. You dig? Now these fucking English cocksuckers, they don't want to accept that I'm in the heart of the world because they got no heart. When I say English, you dig what I'm saying? Then I have to turn around and be the king of English if I'm anything, which I really don't. I'd rather be a coyote in the desert but I've got to play at this goddamn human thing, this form that I'm in. And I can play anything, any act. 
I mean, I've played them all, you know, but which one ain't an act? I don't know. Does it matter? I guess only to how much you're getting paid. You know, or who's paying you. Or if your dollar's gonna be worth anything to start with. Or if you gotta give half of it to some Jew fucking bastard to doing nothing but laying up and sucking on what somebody else is doing, you dig? In other words, I can't get the maggots out of my brain. Everywhere I look up, man, I got these little fucking bloodsuckers that get in my head. And they wanna, they wanna just feed from me some more, you know? And I say, good God, man, ain't you fed on me enough? 2,000 years ain't made you fat enough to get off my fucking neck, man, you dig? And then you see Jesus and you see Christ as being a little God, partner. Because I had the altars of the Druids long before the cross came. And the altars of the Druids will be there long after the cross is gone. Whether the Christians like to accept it or not, he did what I was saying. The cross came by and passed by my window and I seen it go by and I said, Ah, oh, Christ was a little God. But he's a reality in this world because he holds atomic warfare. And we can't blow the world up. We don't want to blow the world up. So all those that live in the thought of we don't want to blow the world up, you dig what I'm saying? And here's another thing that you people talk about. All these peace movement, all these demonstrators, they'll run out and demonstrate for a nuclear power plant, turn, go home and turn electricity on. If you want to demonstrate for a nuclear power plant, don't use electricity. <laughs> Does it make sense? You know what I'm saying? They want to demonstrate for something on one hand and get their faces up in the camera and like, look at me, I'm different, you know, or pay me to be somebody, you dig? And then on the other hand, they can't be somebody because they go home and turn the fucking electricity on and use the same fucking pollution. You dig what I'm saying? In other words, you can't protest cutting down trees with paperwork. You can't protest pollution riding around in automobiles. You dig? I told you 40 years ago, get back to the horse, man. What's the best way to change things? I get back to the horse. If you don't get back to the horse, there's going to be nothing left of you. Now, it's dawning in the minds of many. It's dawning in the minds of chemistry. It's dawning in the minds of biology. And I got seven big locks in my brain, you dig? And then I send off to Norway. Sure. Uh, and I send them a thought, and it goes to Norway, and the chemistry, and they're looking in their little things. You dig what I'm saying? And then I'm over here in Australia, sitting on a bushman. Uh, I don't need a telephone to, co to communicate with that bushman. You dig one? That bushman is right inside my soul, man. He's just, he's right in there. I can hear, I can hear everything. I can see through his eyes. You see what I'm saying? It's like I am that bushman. And I am that solitary confinement. And I am that slam dunk. You dig what I'm saying? And I'm sitting there watching all you fucking Rube Scoops, you dig? Playing my life all these years. You take me from court, you dig? And the lawyer represents me. And then he got guys that represent him, and then they all represent that, and then these guys represent me, and they all represent that, and they all rep they only represent me to start with. It's all in my life that they're standing up with all this big old shit that they're standing up in. It's my life that they're feeding on at the bottom. The king don't have any clothes, man. You dig? We told you that in 69 when Nixon fell down. Now you're trying to drag that same old egg up there and try to put something up that's already gone, man, rather than try to build another one. You see what I'm saying? What do you think happened in the world since you've been incarcerated that you've made happen? Oh, me? Hell, I don't make nothing happen. I just walk along with what's going on. I mean, make happen. What? Well, your thought, your well thought. same thing with you. In your world, what, uh, you know, uh, you made me happen. I mean, you know, how can you say I make you happen when you made me happen just as much as I made you happen? I'm only what you put into me. You dig what I'm saying? You put your thought out. No, 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 you put your thought into me. You sent me this, and you did that, and you said so-and-so, and you put such and such. And I said, oh, is this what you see? Man, this must be, you know, wow, you know, they are right. You know what I mean? In other words, if that's what you see, then I'll meet you in that. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Fantastic. What do you want people to see? Do I want people to see me? Yeah, do you care? No, not really. I just like to get on down the road and play my music. See, I played my music for... Is you, are you hot in here? I play my music for me. I don't play my music to entertain people. I play my music because I am my music, you know, and I live 24 hours a day in music. I get up in the morning, 
Washington. That's what I live in all day long, you know. It's like a long time ago, back in the 50s, when I was in reform school. And I would get in a fight or I'd get in an argument and I'd be down in the solitary confinement. And they'd have me down in solitary confinement. I'd just go... And I turned everything off a long time ago. Back in Virginia, when I was, when I was about 17. <laughs> Earth Angel, Earth Angel. You know, and it was a long time ago. I turned all that shit off, man. You know, I mean, if you're going to get all that freaking business, 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 you business, business. about all the musicians you met in the 60s who were trying to help you in some way? Or Ain't nobody ever tried to help me. Do nothing, man. Nobody helps you. Everybody wants to ride. <laughs> they talk about help, but there ain't no such thing. You gotta help yourself. Everybody that says they want to help you, you dig what I'm saying? They got, you know, everybody's, you know, we all hold a little, and then where does, who does it all balance off on? It all balances off on Rock Hudson to be the macho until they find out that he's not really that, or uh, to uh, the Marine Sergeant who uh, can't say what he's doing in the locker room. You know what I mean? I mean, who carries the balance of what the in-betweens are, you dig? In other words, am I a bitch, a homosexual, a punk, or am I a macho, or a boot goop, or a flim dim? Uh, or am I all things to all people in all ways? Am I their death if they, if they seek it too closely? Am I their judgment if they find harshness within themselves? Am I their uh, uh, benefactor if I've got the, uh, in other words, like, what am I? What am I? Well, then there's how many millions of people that are in that right now? Because of you and your generation? Because when I fell out of this penitentiary and I was playing my music, you, Neil Diamond, Buffalo Springfield, and Beach Boys, all them guys came to me, you dig? And you said, how can you play this kind of music, man? We've never heard this kind of music before. You know, he said, wow, this is strange kind of music. You know? And I said, oh. And they copied and stole from me and took it down and put it in whatever they did. You did. But didn't you do the same thing just then as I gave you that motion? In other words, like, we're all in if we're in harmony with that there's no need to be out of harmony with that the only fear and violence and bloodshed is created by this dude's confusion you don't think violence can be part of harmony uh violence is a very much a part of harmony when you can't when you can't touch intelligence and you tell it get off me and it doesn't understand you and you say look get off of me and it still doesn't understand you you say well what else can I do? I'll just hang myself. And then I hang myself. And as soon as I hang myself, you know right where to go.